Today we're going to look at one of the most versatile pieces of equipment I own, and you may be surprised to find out what it is. Hey everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. You may not can see it, but what I'm propped up on right now is my most valuable piece of equipment in my shop. And I say that not in the sense of a tool, but as an accessory. I'm propped up today on my router table. And if you own a router table, you probably know what I'm talking about. The router table makes my job with the router on a lot of projects 10 times easier. And it makes the job of doing repetitive things that much easier. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at one of the things that I use my router table for. Now you may have other applications that you would use yours for and I'd be interested to hear that and we may make future videos about that but today we're just gonna look at the one. So let's do it. Now my router table is just a very simple inexpensive table and you may be saying wow that thing looks beat up well yeah it's used it's not a museum piece we work with it and it's second hand so this is the best kind of thing to me because it's got the fingerprints of a friend on it so this was passed down to me from a friend of mine who also has a woodworking shop and he upgraded so he gave this to me and wow what a blessing that was so i have my fixed base ryobi router up under here hanging up under here and this is the only thing that router will do because i've got another router i've got a trim router i've got a plunge router to do other things but this little inexpensive fixed base router sits in here and this roundover bit stays in it 99 percent of the time because i have certain applications that i use it on so the thing I want to show you today is using the roundover bit for exactly what it's named for, for rounding over the edges of a board. Now I've got some pine boards here. I'm building some cornhole board frames out of these and I want the edges to be a little soft. I don't want them to have this sharp milled edge on it because eh, they don't feel very good under the fingers. But I don't want to completely round them over. I just want to take the edge off of them. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, and that is exactly why this table is the most valuable tool accessory I've got. So just to show you very quickly what I'm doing with the bit, it's hard to tell from your camera angle, but I've got this edge of this shoulder on this roundover bit. This edge is about a sixteenth of an inch below this surface right here. And that only leaves about a quarter of an inch, maybe even a little less, of this shoulder right here. So that's all this bit is going to take off. Is It's just going to kiss that board. And it's, I mean, it's just a frog's hair beneath the surface here, but that is just enough to keep from giving it an exaggerated round over. And that is exactly what we're going to do with this bit. Now you'll notice that the bit spins in a counterclockwise motion. That's true on any router. And when you run the board into this, you want to run it into the spin of the bit. Because if you run it the other way, the bit can catch the board, sling it out of your hands, and it's really dangerous. So we've got a board here that we haven't done anything to. You can see these edges are very sharp. This is the one we just ran through the roundover bit and you can see we've got just a slight roundover over here on the edges and that feels really good on the hand and it gives the overall piece a nice high end feel. And this only took a few seconds. All right, so that is one of the many, many things the router table can do. And again, you see we've got just this really nice tender edge now on our board. It feels really good in the hand. That's exactly what we were going for. And this is what we use this router table for almost all the time. But by far, it is not the only thing 
that it makes possible. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments, or you can email me at info at applevalleyfarmga.com. If you want to find out more about us, go to applevalleyfarmga.com. That's our home online. But thanks a lot for being here. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.